it's time to have a face wash. It's so cold. I'm using Spite Spawn. Really refreshes your skin um, and it smells really great, so I don't need to put too much fragrance on as well. And yes, yeah, so if I'm out in the bush, I need to smell nice too. So let's wash our hands first. done from top to bottom all right so we're off camp four we're all clean all nice right, i'm just helping this big rig on the left hand side to come out as well nice guy james i think he's that not ready Okay, so basically the rig behind me is worth probably about 300 grand. So the van itself is about nearly 200. And uh, the Dodge is a monster of a machine. I'm just gonna help him guide him out like one of those traffic control guys. Let's wait till he's ready. <coughs> top, top guy. I've met no one but beautiful people on this trip. You know what? If you find some elderly, elderly people out there that have nice, nice things, they've worked hard for what they have. If they need a bit of a hand, fuck, put your hand out there and give them a hand like I'm doing now. So I helped them back in here last night. Um, and at the same time, um, he offered me a beer. I don't drink. But he offered me the beer, have a chit chat, but we had a chat anyway. Uh, and he showed me inside his van. So that's five years old. It's close to about 200 grand as stock. It's a bushwhacker. Um, and when he showed me inside, wow, I've never seen such a beautiful luxury and solid build caravan in my life. So he had it built for himself. And he's an engineer and he added a few little extras here and there to make it his own, like air suspension and everything else. So we'll just wait for the guy to come and get ready. He said his name is Sam. Can't remember. Another location where we can stay for the night. I have a feeling 
that it's going to be super busy today. Just got that big feel. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so I'm going through Creswick at the moment, looking for a nice cafe. Now, Cafe 56 used to have really nice coffee, but it looks like they're shut. Look at this old door was. That's a really good cafe, but I don't know why it's not open. There's someone in there. Maybe they start late. Anyway, so. Another thing I forgot besides my brain, I forgot to uh, get the charger adapter. Sorry, I forgot to bring my GoPro charger uh, cable. So now I'm on a mission to find one of those. I'm doing well this, this trip. Anyway, this is Creswick. Yeah, it's absolutely a beautiful spot. Nice little country town. Okay, so I changed shorts because it's fucking already 21 degrees and it's only 9 30. sorry about this weather hot um so got my breakfast we changed and i need to get a coffee now ah cafe 56 is open bingo happy now so let's get across there and get ourselves a nice cup of coffee Right, so it's going to be pretty hot today. So I'm going to try to find a place where there's a massive lake so I can go swimming and maybe stay there for the night. But I'll tell you what, I can feel the heat now. Not a cloud in the sky. And uh, yeah, the heat's beating down on us all. So I guess it's going to be a hot day today. Anyway, let's find a new camp spot with some water so I can uh, go swimming. shows you exactly what I'm talking about here but beautiful farmland this is what Australia is all about beautiful landscapes farmlands you know these this land here goes back through generations of families and you know what I noticed that the younger generation being in real estate or being property buying myself Newer generations, once they get their hands on it, they sell it. They sell it for you know, a good amount of money, of course, to developers, but it no longer becomes a beautiful landscape. So if you can see over there to the right hand side is where the lake is. That's where I'm going today. Look at the cows. No. But um yeah, so that's the lake of danger today. 
should be beautiful. And busy. Alright, we're here guys. Lake Burmat, Bur Burman Bats or something like that. I'll find out when I see the sign. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And heaps of camping spots. Yay. So we've made it. So uh, we're set up. Let me show you around where I'm located and just make sure I've got this, the wording correct or the name correct, I should say. We are at Lake Burrumbeet. Burrumbeet, yeah, foreshores. Now, Lake Burrumbeet foreshore camp area is a free campsite. You have uh, dump toilets, so not dump toilets, drop toilets, um, and heaps and heaps of room. A few locals have just told me that um, around this time to New Year's Eve, it starts getting really busy. At this stage, it's quiet. Let me show you around. First off, let me show you my backdrop. Look at this. Look at that. That whole lake is for me. Absolutely. So, as you see, I'm all set up. Now, I am staying here for a couple of days. I've decided to stay here a couple of days. Okay guys, so I've just come back from um, Wombat and I'm just editing Lake Burramit as we speak. Okay. Now in the video I say that I must stay there for two days, which wasn't the case. The reason I left is magnitude of different things. One, um, <laughs> mosquitoes. Fuck! Again, sorry about my swearing. Mosquitoes, flies, Spiders. So what happened is once I set up camp within 30 minutes of setting up camp I had spider webs throughout my whole tent and on my awning and on me as well So when you're sitting there just chilling out you do get attacked now They're only small little baby things. So it's not a big deal 
Um, so I recommend that you bring uh, fly repellent and the mosquito repellent um, and spray out your camper, tra um, your, your tent, whatever it may be that you're taking. Set, uh, spray it out because it's a must. Um, but uh, guys, I was over the moon at being at this lake. It was absolutely beautiful. The toilets, I, I guess the video will say the rest. Um, I took a spray and wipe bottle you know, the Ajax spray and wipe, but eco-friendly one. And I sprayed the toilets before I went to do the number twos uh, because it's disgusting. I'm not sure when the last time the council went out there, um, Ballarat council went out there to clean it. Anyway, let's go back to the video. Why not? When you have that, you need to enjoy it. So you've got my old stuff here. Nothing new, really. Met a beautiful couple just over there that own that beautiful um, city sprinter. I spoke to them about the van. I had a look in the van as well. It's <laughs> it's it's luxury. But anyway, um, tents all set up, solar panels already out there. So I'm living the dream. So I'm just going to go for a swim, and I'm going to enjoy life. Let's go in the water. Probably gonna be freezing cold, but hey, doesn't really matter. It's really cold. Keep your life, guys. It's really cold to tell you on the Check this thing out. It's cold. It's really cold. But hey, you're gonna live once, huh? So enjoy it. Live your dream. Live your life. Beautiful. Oh. 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 Just what I needed, guys. Just what I needed. Everyone needs to come here. It's an absolutely beautiful spot. Campsite set up really nicely. I'm happy, relaxed, water's refreshing. Oh. 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 Live your life, live your life. Anyway, enough for me swimming. I'm gonna put the camera away, and it's actually quite shallow. Pretty far from the shoreline. I can stand. Anyway, very muddy. Look around the look around the cave spot. It's quite large. If anyone's not been here before. It's a big camp spot. A lot of boats will be here shortly, especially being the weekend. But guys, live your life today. As I always say, you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. And I've been saying that for four years. Coming from a family, anyway, um, that's not around anymore. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. So live it today. And I've been saying that for four years, and the, it has come true. We got into lockdown just like that. All our all our lives, our freedom was taken away from us just because of some stupid fucking people. So why not enjoy it today because it could happen again tomorrow, or even worse, you could say goodbye. Okay, so, so live it now. Anyway, enjoy. Okay, quick update. So uh, it's about four thirty right now. Four thirty-four exactly. Uh, the campsite, a lot of ants, a lot, a lot of ants and spiders crawling around everywhere, which is not, I mean, the ants are a pain in the ass, but the spiders I'm not too worried about. However, the drop tools over there are absolutely f disgusting. It's, it's really, really bad towards. Uh, just let me show you the thing I'm fine. family environment you 
guys. It's really a nice spot. The water's a little bit cold, but once you get used to it, you just you can't stop swimming. Very muddy bottom. Uh, as I was saying, toilets. Drop toilets. Sorry, guys. Drop toilets, and there's a huge spider in there just hiding in its web. I don't know if it's a funnel web or not, but I'm not going to even call it. I don't think it's big enough to be a funnel web, but it's a big mother. And it's hiding in its little funnel. So, uh, who knows? So it's right next to the shitter. So, uh, yeah, and heaps and heaps of flies. I'm not sure if anyone's cleaned that place uh, in the last two years. Um, I love this I love this site. It's, it's really nice. If... My first spot to go to, really, if you really want to relax in um, camp spots. So far, out of the four that I've been to now, I would have to say uh, Mount Franklin is probably one of the best. It's clean, um, still drop tours, but they're renovating there at the moment. Family environment, only if people keep their dogs on the leash. Other than that, this will be my next spot. If uh, Mount Franklin had water around there, that will be the ultimate. Seriously, that will be absolutely brilliant. Other than that, guys, this, this spot here is absolutely amazing. My blog, it's clean. Campsite's pretty clean. As I said, a lot of ants, but it's it's amazing. Well, I mean, you got water here, and then you got farmland just over there. And some people drive on these dirt roads pretty quick, and dust goes everywhere. But anyway. Get those people. Uh, I can't bag this place out. This place is an awesome spot to stay. This would be my my number one spot to stay overnight because it's got water. But as environment friendly um, and the atmosphere of the pine trees everywhere, I would say uh, Mount Franklin. Come to get some dinner ready. Got some potatoes. Got some ch potato chips. <laughs> You pay millions of dollars for a beachfront resort these days. Yeah. It's not a beach, but it's like a resort. You've got the windmills over there, the power stations over there. You've got a massive lake. You've got families with their boats. Honestly. Could you ask for any more? So as the evening comes to an end, dishes have been uh, washed. What's great about this is they've got unlimited water. Come on. And it's really hot. The only problem is that the uh, filter that's in the water, if you're unburnt, the filter that's in the water, it's sunk right down to the bottom because it's heavy. And, uh, Starting to suck in a little bit too much rubbish or mud. So I hope I can have a semi clean shower. But in the tub, it's hot water. So I'm cleaning with hot, proper hot water. A little bit of an incident as well. Uh, one of my uh, spray cans, bug spray went off inside the uh, so one of my containers storage containers and it went through everything been doing for an hour cleaning that up straight after dinner lucky I saw it now or later because it would have got worse so toilet paper is pretty left up so, yeah. Yeah, anyway. what did I deal with Guys, uh, don't want to watch me cook, don't want to watch me uh, do dishes. So, I'm just going to turn the camera so you can see them. And I'll fade out to say good night. And I wish you all the best. And I'll see you on the next trip. Safe driving, safe travels. Later, guys.